great. It's not too bad. Well, it was foggy a bit earlier on, so we'll go down, dash it for the cows, be down, and uh, find out what we're doing today. I think we're going to be fixing up the um, stone trap in the cow shed there because there's a bit of an issue about it sinking. I'll show you later. I think we're fixing that today. And then we'll be heading up the runoff, Dad's runoff, to go do some, uh, if they, uh, go and drench some of the cattle and give them their vitamin B12 injection. Yeah, uh, basically have to grow a bit quicker. Yes, uh, got two of them for today again, just a, another dawdle. Easy as. There he is, Rufus. Finally arrived, eh? Just guard down, I'm still. Just about at the back, much better day. Even though we've got some rain and we've had some nice sunny weather, the grass still hasn't grown that well. We definitely haven't got the cover we would want, so keep feeding out the silage and hay. Hopefully that'll give us a bit of time to slow them up a bit and get some grass back. Even if we got some more rain though, that uh, we got a total of. 40 mils in the last month so far. We definitely need another 100, would be quite nice. Before it gets too cold and the grass decides to stagnate in the cooler weather. Uh, cows all shifted and all fed out. Well, what do I do while I'm feeding out? I'm generally looking around at the cows, making sure that uh, they haven't got any issues, like mastitis issues coming up, making sure some of them they're not too skinny checking to make sure they're doing alright, holding their weight. And while I'm also feeding out, I'm also checking to make sure I don't drop the bale, which I've done a couple of times. And uh, then I have to go back and put it on because fit out too much in one spot. And yes, it's checking around for that, making sure everyone's holding up nicely and everyone's drying off well. I haven't seen any issues and the boss doesn't look like he's seen any issues either. The boss. Wow. Well, we'll uh, go load up another bale of silage. Let's see what we're going to do today. Find out. All set up for these girls. These are here if it's come down to the shed now. We'll go grab them. We'll go do some drenching. There they come. Be quicker, be quicker. There you go. Come on, come on. Come on. Slowly coming over here. Alright. See at the top. Got home quickly to get the motorbike. We'll give these fellas a drench and an injection with a vitamin B. Alright. Well, oh, let's go to it. Come on. There we go. But, as typical, there's always one. We've got to get him. him. Right, oh, Gannon? Climbing over there. That's all right. Yep. We got them ready to go and drench now. Looking good. Looking good. Yep, bring them through, Gunner. Bring them through. Looking good. Looking as good as your ones, Gunner. Too blinker friendly, eh? Hey, come on. Watch out. Watch out. Come on. Hey. There, that'll be enough. Yeah, 200 to 250. Hey? Nah, too many. Out, too many. Back, down. back. Back them up. Back one back. Yeah, you're right now. Just the black one, Cal. Okay, sweet. Is that right? 200, 250 is 12.5 mils. We'll go 13. Round up.
All done. Off down to their paddock. Go work, Anna. Go work, Dad. Hey. Go work. Hands up. Hands up. It's on in my eyes, Carl. Yeah, yeah. Down the paddock. I'll be happy now. With a B12 and selenium injection, what that does just promotes growth and allows them to uh, put on a bit of weight, makes them a little bit hungrier, they eat a bit more. And the drench just helps so they don't get any worms or anything like that. And no parasites internally, so it gives them good. The small ones are probably from um, eczema, it's around the uh, Waikato and North Island, North, North Island, seems so we get quite a bit of eczema. That's all right, we um, did give them a bit of eczema treatment, but they didn't, uh, some of them did really well, and others, they fall behind. That's all right, they'll catch up all on time. Yep. Um, with the drench, go from between the shoulder blades right down to the, the hip bone there. So, get a good long drench out the back there. So, big fella here, probably weighs about 300 kilos. 350. These little fellas are weighing between 200 to 250. It's about 100 kilos, 150 kilos difference at times. That's all right. We'll push these into their paddock, which isn't this way, back that way. And when Dad shifts them next time, he said they can get this put. Make sure the gate to the neighbours is closed and locked. We'll push them back. Come on. Come yeah, on. That's all right. Come yeah, on. Yeah, we plan to we plan on drenching them every every six weeks. Yep. Lock them away. Attic. Lock them away. <laughs> We've lost the handle. Oh, locked in. Up at Grandad's now. Just gave her her fibro strip for her woody tongue. So, yeah, she may have one more treatment. I think that's it, though. She's done well. She'll heal up nicely now. It's gone down a bit. Yeah, she's looking good. She's going well, putting weight on again. So is the other one. Back onto the farm now. We're going to go and fix this uh, stone trap. Make sure it's level. We go up. Another girl there. For, we've got our de-shackle for the front of the digger. Should do the job. Another boss are coming through. We've got the little de-shackle on. We're lifting this up. Okay. You'll be able to slide under that corner. We gave her an attempt, but we could not do what we wanted to do, which was uh, lift up the stone trap and push it over a bit because it's actually starting to lean against the, where the pup sits. Couldn't do that, so we'll have to get a bigger digger in. It's going to be able to lift it from the other side. We couldn't quite grab it. But that's all right. Gave it a good crack. Nearly got it a couple of times, but just didn't uh, change the work out. So we will call it a day there. Shoot into the local shop and get some essential supplies. Uh, mainly like small fencing here. Some and a few other things. So that'll be us for the day. Like and subscribe, and I will see you all. Thank you.